The push exercise is one of the first basic workouts in calisthenics that will gain muscle strength and also help you build some of your upper body muscle groups. Since there are so many variations that include the push movements, you can train them in different types and difficulties, and therefore you will be able to increase strength and make progress faster in different ways. So 2024 has just started, and the new year is a great way to begin new journeys and accomplish the goal that you set out. If one of them is to start or improve your calisthenics training, then in today's video, I will share with you guys some of the effective push movements that you should try at least once when you are doing calisthenics. For these exercises, I will also place them in the order of beginner to advanced. However, you can still try all of these exercises right away so that you will be able to know which one suits you the most and create your own personal workout schedule. Okay, let's get right into it. First off, it is best to always warm up before every workout session so you will be able to make your training more effective and especially to avoid injuries. When we are training with the push exercises, you should first focus on warming up your wrists and hands since they will be holding your entire body weight when doing the movements. After that, you can also warm up your arms so you can do the exercises easier. Coming to our first push exercise, we'll have the regular push-up. This could be one of the fundamental exercises when you start calisthenics and by only mastering this movement first, you'll be able to increase more strength and can start trying out other push variations. To have the most effectiveness out of this exercise, you'll have to go all the way down and up, lock your arms and the key is to maintain your body straight while doing the movement. This will apply the same to mostly all of the push variations and by only doing them like this, which is also the correct way of doing the push-up, you will be able to make progress faster. When training with a regular push-up, you can go for 5 sets of 10 repetitions and rest for 1-2 to two minutes between sets. Up next to the second push exercise on the list, we will have the diamond push-up. For this variation of the push-up, you will place your hand closer together like a diamond shape and then you will continue to do the push movements. The diamond push-up is also a great exercise to build your chest muscles and if you can go all the way down until your chest touches your hands throughout the whole set then you will be able to max out the effectiveness of this exercise. For the diamond push-up, you can train it for 3-5 to five sets of 10 reps and with the same rest time as the regular push-up. Our next push variations that you should give a try is going to be the elevated push-ups. For this exercise, you will need a high object to train with and you can use a chair like this. After that, you will place your feet on it and do the movements. When training for the elevated push-up, try your best to always maintain your body straight because most of the time when you first try it out, your lower body will likely be too high or too low like this. For this exercise, I often do it for 3 sets of 10 reps and the first 3 push exercises can be considered as the beginner level of calisthenics. And now for the upcoming exercises, they will focus even more on the strength that you will need to make progress further in calisthenics. And for our first push exercise of this level, we'll have the explosive push-up. When training for this movement, try your best to push up with all your strength and in order to do so, when you go down, you can hold there for a bit to gain more momentum when you push your body up. The explosive push up also have an alternative version that you can try, which is going to be the clap push up. I would recommend you change this variation once you get comfortable training with the explosive push up since it will help you to build your strength faster. For next push exercise, we'll have the slow push-up. The movement to do this exercise is really simple because all you have to do is do the push-up as slowly as possible. However, the challenging part of this exercise is that the slower you do it, the harder it will be. And when you are going to train for this move, I would recommend you first go for 2 sets of 15 seconds down and 15 seconds up. After that, you can rest it to 30 seconds or even 45 seconds. 
Since you will have to do the push movement slower, we will also focus more on your upper body muscle groups such as your chest, triceps and shoulders. I comment your third push exercise to increase more of your strength is going to be the dips. This exercise isn't going to be as convenient as the other push movements since it will require you to have a dip bar to drink with. However, I would highly suggest you try out this exercise and if you can drink with it consistently, it will double the effect of the push-up movements. The reason is that when you are doing the regular push-up, you will mainly work with only the weights of your upper body and if you do the dips, you will now have to train with your whole body weight. If you are going to try out the dips, then you can go for 3 sets of 10 reps per workout. And that will conclude our 3 push exercises that will focus on helping you make progress faster. And coming to the advanced level of push movements, I will share with you guys the exercises to unlock skills in calisthenics. Though you can give them a try right away, these exercises will require you to be determined to master them fully. And for our first exercise, we'll have the archer push up. To do this movement, you will place your hands wider than your shoulder and then go down for each side. The archer push up is one of the exercises that will help you unlock the one arm push up. And there is also a similar variation that you can do, which is going to be the type rider push up. So instead of just going down and up, you will now go down, then switch sides and repeat. When you're going to train for the archer push up, you can go for 3 sets of 10 reps. And if you're going to do the typewriter push up, then it will be 3 sets of 5 reps. Finally, to our last push exercise that I would recommend you try is going to be the pseudo push up. Personally, this is my top 1 favorite push exercise. Besides increasing a lot of your fundamental strength and focusing on your shoulder muscles, the Pseudo Push-Up is one of the exercises that will help you unlock your superhuman strength and also support you to do the punch, which is one of the main advanced skills in calisthenics. To do the Pseudo Push-Up, you can check out this video where I share some tips about how to do this exercise the correct way and also the 3 training levels that you can follow to unlock the planche hold. So there you have it, 10 push exercises including the alternative version that I would highly suggest you give a try if you are going to or are training calisthenics. If you find this video helpful, then a like and subscribe would be super appreciated. Well then, stay safe, stay healthy, stay workout and we'll see you in the next one.